And we begin with chaos in Del Rio. More than 13,000 migrants stuck under the International Bridge there. Local officials frustrated and overwhelmed, and Border Patrol stretched thin. The bridge serving as a temporary staging site until asylum seekers can be processed, which could take days, if not weeks. And with temperatures of more than 100 degrees, a heat index at 105 today, those conditions are grueling. John Paul Barajas live in Del Rio tonight along the border fence there. John Paul, what are local officials telling you and what are local citizens saying? Well, first off, Steve, Myra, we've been out here all day, and to say the least, it is extremely hot. Now, since we've been here, this is the closest they've let us get. Federal officials have been strict about letting media go past this fence. So since we can't really see too much from where we're at, we've been asking local residents about what they're seeing. And Eileen Ramirez is a mother of four. She lives about 30 minutes away, walking or a five-minute drive from the International Bridge. In her 27 years living in Del Rio, this is the worst she's ever seen it. Thousands of people crowded under the bridge trying to find shade and resources while they wait to be processed. Ramirez explains that last week migrants came knocking on her door in the middle of the night. It was just terrifying. Them knocking on my doors, my windows, and the dogs, you know, barking, my kids panicking. It was something terrifying. It's always been an issue, you know, here in Del Rio because it is the border. But this time it's totally different because it's thousands. We're talking about thousands of immigrants. She says the people eventually left and no one was hurt. Local law enforcement tells us other residents are reporting similar things. Another woman told us people have been breaking into her ranch multiple times. But despite worrying about their own safety, they're also concerned about the grueling conditions migrants are facing. And moments before we came on air, we spoke to a county commissioner who said the federal government will be shutting down the International Bridge at 6 p.m. So it should be shutting down right about now. Right now, we don't see any vehicles, but just moments ago, there was still a few going by. So we haven't made confirmation that it actually is closed yet. And we'll also be hearing from that county commissioner coming up tonight at 10. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, John Paul. The Del Rio mayor says most of the migrants in this recent surge are Haitians. National humanitarian groups say the Biden administration will reinstate deportation flights to Haiti, a country in turmoil with the assassination of its president in July, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake in August, and the 2010 quake that forced many Haitians out of the country. We've reached out to the White House Department of Homeland Security and U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement for confirmation and we have not heard back.